Hello Bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and if you feel like the, you know, the vibe is, you know, really getting to you, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And you know, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and send so much peace, protection you know and uplifting healing towards your way if anybody's coming towards me with evil intent you trying to block you trying to distract or you trying to destroy i'm sending that back towards you 10 times fold except mine's gonna be with blessings of uplifting healing and light and the video i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey okas the tables haven't just turned they don't flip the over and um uh it really has you know when you have gotten to that vibe you know it was just like my other video it w it was just like i was got it you know you at that vibration where you know go ahead and speak speak your mind you know you really on some poetic type stuff right now especially when you really feeling that vibe of you know your own power where you really where you can really you really discover the core of you and you're still you know you're still unfolding because we're not you know we're not we're never going to be finished you know we are never going to be finished you know when you're allowing yourself to really go through the healing you really facing things that has been very hardcore because it's like when i say this retrograde don't really don't put out the truth shoot oh jesus you know, I had to be able to pull back and pour into my own cup. You know, that's what you know. That's why I told people, you know, please don't, don't, don't feel some type of way if I'm like, girl, you done made like about a couple of videos and you still ain't replied to me. This is not you. What's going on? Especially if you've been with me for a while, you know, this is not me. Unless it's like, you know, I don't, I don't went days and weeks and sometimes I haven't done that and I haven't um, did any uh, reply back to you. It's just like, you know. I'm, I'm not even supposed to be doing this, but well, God felt I should be doing this, so I haven't. There's reasons why he don't want me to send up here replying back to anybody just yet. Because it's just like I'm still in that vibe where everything is really sensitive to me. You know, I even had to pull a shield up for you not to, for me not to be too much for you, you know. But just going through that, you know, I'm trying not to be too loud. It's like 2 something in the morning. <laughs> you know, I'm like, okay, you feeling projetic. You know, 2 o'clock in the morning. But, uh, you know, um, when you in the core of yourself and really seeing how i mean you've really been going through it you've probably been getting dizzy you seeing yourself disconnect you seeing how so many different things in your surrounding has really changed you're going through a uh, spiritual flu you know a uh, psychedelic flu of, of of heightened spirituality you know and that mess has not been easy you know you're really allowing yourself to not hold back within that you know and it's not easy to touch base on stuff that's really triggering to you really hard for you to be able to accept you know you're not giving excuses uh on different things and if you do you can allow yourself to say yeah i'm giving excuses let me allow myself to work on that you know doing a lot of my my mantras you know getting to that vibe of whatever i want i have to be able to you know really disconnect and let go of all the negativity that is going around me because right now it is just like those those situations the way i see it you know even though the devil is really busy you know you're not allowing yourself to really focus on the illusions that's going on around you where you can see okay that person's in their feelings so they want to discard that mess on me okay He's like, you going to be mad? No, just allow myself to disconnect. So I don't want to say, hey, have a nice day to you. And they want to give you a little, you know, a mullet look, a gas face. You know, look, like, hey, <laughs> good, good day to you, top of the day to you. You know, hey, they ain't, they ain't, ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> you know, I still want you to have a good day. God bless, namaste, love and light. You know, love and light. You know, that's all those things I'm going to want to say to you right now is love and light because everybody going through this stuff. That's what they're telling you. Don't engage in the low level frequency stuff. There'll be different things. I'll be seeing all the time. I'm like, oh, no, that's, that's no, no, no. <laughs> that's your job. I'm not going to allow myself to get into that. Don't be trying to pull me into that situation. I'm going to let you handle that on your own, you know, and different things like that. And I'm allowing myself to see, even if somebody's projecting that towards me, you know, things are very, 
you know, very sensitive to you right now, where it's just like you standing up for yourself. You can stand up for yourself without having to be engaging and being combative. You know, because there's a lot of times people will open that door because they're at war with themselves and want you to argue with them. They want you to be able to live that lie of truth and their their lie of truth into that lie of truth and make it be your own. You can say what you got to say and be very, you know, you can shut that daggone shield down like, hey, I see what you're doing. I ain't got time. <laughs> and I'm going to let you be at that with yourself. But I'm going to pray for you. You know, you don't want you want to be in that love language. You know, not no, no, no uh, narcissistic language, not no, um, oh, you and your feelings, so you want to try to target me for your projection of fear today, uh, vibration. No, I'm going to say, oh, I see what's going on and I see what's happening, but I'm going to pray for you. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go there with you. I'm going to say what I said and I said what I said and I'm going about my business. Goodbye. You know, you be at that point where you being very stern. You can, you know, because a lot of times we feel like when you're not engaging in that low level frequency, that means you need to walk on eggshells. No. <laughs> no, you be real about yours. Oh, I oh I see this is what you're doing. I'm going to say what I said, but I'm not going to argue with you. You know, I, okay, you want to disagree? Okay, I agree. Do not disagree. Sometimes you got to not argue with fools. Okay, I think you're wrong. Okay. You know, and be at that. You know, it's just at that point, if this is something that is going to be, you know, it's different between somebody, you know, talking to you and, you know, you can have a disagreement. And still be cool with each other. And that's okay. Or I can have a discussion with you where we're not seeing our level. But we can agree that we're just not on that on, on that same view of seeing that same view. But that doesn't make us enemies. You know, that doesn't make us go against each other. Because, you know, you should be able to talk to somebody. Or be in, in a vibration where you can discuss something that is not comfortable. And still be cool with it. You know, like, hey, I don't, I don't like when you did that. You know, but you got to understand if you're talking to narcissistic people, you got to keep that to yourself because when they find out that that's something that you don't like, they're going to keep doing it just because they know that's something that you don't like. And you have to be able to learn. You learn from the lessons that they're teaching you within yourself is where you learn from your lessons on how you engage with people like that. You have to understand folks are in their vibration to where everything is heightened right now. That's why, you know, it's, it's just not even though there ain't nothing negative coming towards me about the comments. We are all going through different things and sometimes we can speak our energy just within our words and it's just like hey you tell me to do videos right now uh, don't 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 reply to nobody yet I'm like okay you know I'll get ready to uh, uh, uh. don't don't do that right now we're we, we gonna get to that <laughs> we still pouring into your cup you know we, we still filtering through some stuff you want to be we put this shield up for you to be able to say what you got to say but that's different when you when you when you pushing out something else like that but, you know, we're going through a lot of different things where we're unlearning and to learn. And right now, when you on that thing where God don't really just not just turn that table, he flipping it the heck over. And you, you and you being unapologetic about that. You know, you're in your realness. You're not being timid. You know, not wanting to be, you know, you're speaking in your truth. But you're not at that point where you know you're not trying to offend nobody. You're trying to hurt nobody's feelings. Because, see, you know, I had to learn from that. You know, been with me for a while. I used to think me being honest with somebody, it could be very brutal. And I realized that could be very hurtful towards people because I wasn't being mindful of what I was projecting. I wasn't being discerning on what I was projecting. But if I'm saying, you know, hey, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or being disrespectful, but I, I'm, I'm just not going to argue with you about this. You, where we see that you're trying to set up an argument, you're trying to be... And to that point where you're trying to be empowered by being confusing to me to make me feel confused about myself. And I'm going to let you have that confusion by yourself. But I'm going to say you love that way. But since I know you about to be you on that vibe right now, you on that gravy train of what this is what you're doing to empower yourself instead of allowing yourself to really face some stuff and, and, and digest that so you can be able to flush that mess out. I'm going to let you go ahead and do that. You ain't going to know. <laughs> you know, I'm not. You know, and I used to be that tit for tat person, and I'm just saying I'm not in that vibe no more. That mess is exhausting. You know, I'm I'm just trying to be real with myself. I'm trying to be real with other people. You can't be real with me. I'm gonna let you be fake and fraudulent over there. You know, I'm on that on on it on this real street. You know, and being that way. And if that disrupts your vibe, baby, I'm sorry, but you, I'm just not your type of people. You know, but I respect for who you are. I can see this is where you at. And you know the more positive about yourself, the more positivity you have within your life. There are gonna be some people that gonna have you gonna have to reintroduce reintroduce yourself. Or most likely they're gonna have to reintroduce reintroduce their self. Reintroduce. I can't I don't know why I can't say that word right now. They're gonna have to reintroduce themselves to you on that new level of you. 
to where if it's something that's just stuck in those ways and want to have an attitude every time you pass by, hey, how you doing? Where they feel like you're being sarcastic. And you're like, well, I thought you would be. No, why would you think? Well, obviously, you taking that personal. You on that vibe of where you feel, oh, she thinks she better than somebody else. No, you think I'm being better than that because I ain't say that. And I'm that type of person, yo, you think I'm, think I'm brand new and I'm new, new. And you got to understand, that's my new, new too. You know, I don't be that type of person. I'm like that. It, you know, because I felt, oh, yeah, you didn't catch that sarcastic thing I was throwing at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, and I be like that. You know, I don't have, I don't want you second guessing anything. I don't leave nothing in there for you to assume anything. I'm going to tell you, you know, and it, it, it's just at that point, you have to be that way, you know, because a lot of time people will take stuff out of context, you know, unless you don't approach me about it or I'm like, what's wrong? Did I say something to you that make you feel some type of way, you know, and if I know I was wrong, I'm be woman enough to stand up and say I'm wrong. Now, a lot of people, ain't, you know, a lot of people, when you know, if they're in that vibration of being negative, they're not going to do that. They're going to make you a whole criminal on some stuff you ain't even do. Of a crime you didn't even, you know, you didn't even commit. But it's okay. You're being in that vibration where you are just moving unapologetically. And that makes you a bad mother. Shut your mouth. When you know, when you know about yourself to the core. And you're allowing yourself to say, I'm still open to learn. There's nothing, that's what makes you very smart. It's like some people out there feel like they can't learn nothing new or they're okay with just being. And you got to respect that. It ain't nothing about them. If they, well, okay, well, you just used to being, I, I wasn't built like that. I feel like I can learn something new every single day. And I'm open to learning. You know, being able to allow myself to not stand in my own, you know, my own process of progress because I'm doing it. Because there'll be different times, there'll be certain things I really am not this that I'm doing. And I'm like, and I'm like, God, I really don't like doing that. And I know I got to change my verb. It's just like, is that, oh, I got to do this or I get to, you know, oh, I get to go on my walk today or I get to work out today or I get to, you know, introduce myself to a new, you know, a new uh, 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 venture. You know, it's not how I want to, you know, I gotta. And it makes you, you know, you, it'll be making making you feel like you're really forcing yourself. And they always tell us, you gotta be able to change your words for you to be able to move through different things. Because sometimes it's just your words will make you feel like you're forcing yourself. Knowing this is something you really gotta do. You know, it's just like since I've been under a lot of depression, I, I hate working out. And I have to really, like, Rosalind, you got to change that. You used to love working out. You used to be an exercise guru, you know, the way you would do it. Even at work, I was in a period like, you know, I was working for the military by feeding the soldiers and stuff. And I used to pull up more mics. They would be like 20, 20 pounds. And I'm sitting up here doing squats with it. I'm like, what the heck? Do you never stop? No. And be, you know, pulling them up like that. Or, you know, opening bottles, you know, giving myself like trivial stuff to do. Now I'm just like, man, look, if it ain't putting food in my face, you know, I really don't want to do all that. that. That's just doing too much. And I have to get out of that funk for doing that. You know, so there'll be different things where, you know, I allow myself to be real. There'll be just certain things I know I'm not going to talk about just because I know I got enemies watching. They're trying to find different ways to get up into my vibe so they can be able to block some stuff. And now, not today, not tomorrow, not next year, not no, I'm keeping it real. So if you got to sit back and watch and you just, blah, 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 hey, that's all on you. <laughs> you got to be making, making sure, you know, these different things that there's going in where people just... You know, they, people, Ill, evil villains, they, you know, they feel like they're conquering everything. But it's just that that point, we all playing characters in this game called life. In this day called life. You know, you're doing different things. It's like everything was a part of that vibe for you to understand who you are. And, you know, and you really flipping the script on yourself, you know, by really seeing yourself in so many different dynamics and it's just like when I see that you know to be certain times where old ways want to come out I'm like ah we ain't a part of that no more come back come back you know we stepping into the light but we ain't stepping into that way we, we, we're on a whole new show we're on a whole new story we're not going to keep bringing up what other people did because it's just the fact is God and karmic <laughs> you know, karmic, it, it all that, that karmic karma, everything gonna unfold exactly where it's supposed to be. As long as you gotta be focused on you, not worried about what your enemies gonna get. Don't worry about all these people that don't sit up here and playing the plot against you. Where they gonna get? You focus on you, because if you already know if God really truly loves you. They always tell you, you know, you probably see that 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 post, and y'all know I already know I was be talking about that saying or that post where you know you, your best venge 
revenge towards people that hurt you or that's trying to go out there and, and, and place lies on your name or a narrative on your name. You be successful. You be in your peace. You keep moving. You keep thriving. That's the best revenge you could ever have. Because when you working on revenge, that means you still placing power in those folks that did something to you. You know, you placing power on those different things that people don't went out their way to do. And that's exactly what they wanted you to do. They want you to be mad. They want you to keep on pushing things towards them and being all argumentative and stuff like that. And I'm like, no, watch me grow. Watch me be in my peace. Watch me thrive. Watch me be on the things that you really swore to whatever thing you were conjuring in that witch book of yours or whatever that hex book of yours that wasn't going, I wasn't going to be able to make possible. You're going to see it's going to be possible within the things that I'm moving forward to do. You know, and that's what I am. Because it's just like when we go through things, when we start focusing on how we're going to get mad at somebody, how we're going to do this, how we're going to do that, you giving that power right back to the people that you swerving down you weren't going to do. This is like what I'm, I'm going to allow myself to focus on me. Since everybody going to be focused on me, I'm going to be that one focused on me. But I'm, they're going to they're gonna watch me do what I need to do for me while they should be watching themselves how to do themselves. You know, I always tell people when you put so much energy, you know, when you can put so much energy on something where you're trying to block somebody from something that was supposed to be going for them or what's supposed to be on their vibe for them. This is your journey. Everybody got their own journey. You know, whatever God has for that person, you cannot take that away. If it was meant for you to have, that wasn't meant for them in the first place. But if it's meant for them, you cannot sit up here and bogart or something like that for somebody. You can't sit, you can't, and that is what it is and where I have to laugh at times. You basically showing me when you don't stop, when you clearly got them warning signs and you keep ignoring them. Because when universe and God show up and show out. It's like it's not a void. You can't go back off of that because you, they gave you that time to do what you need to do. And basically what you keep doing, they keep on saying they, they got <laughs> vibes over God. Or they can override what God doing. I'm like, <laughs> I'm just stay on my side and let you do you, boo. Because I don't want that type of, I don't want your life. I don't want that type of situation. I don't, you know. But it, it's just like, you know, stay focused on you. Stay focused on your growth. Because when God really, really, truly bless you. They gonna let them see you shine, and you gonna they gonna let you see what's gonna happen in them. They gonna be that that example. You everybody being a set of example, set an example. This is what happens when you keep achieving, when you keep allowing yourself to be grateful for every mark you done set up here and surpassed, every situation where the doors you allowed yourself to move proudly after it's been closed and not going fair and back. Because a lot of times things can get very uncomfortable very uncomfortable the way we'll fall back in old ways because that's something that we're we're understanding we already know how this is gonna go but when we actually allow ourselves to be brave and like man i don't know what's gonna fall back what's gonna fall forward what's gonna take me all the way 10 paces ahead or 10 tech 10, 10 meters ahead or whatever but i'm allowing myself to do it and have faith within myself i can do this if god knows if i tell him i don't understand what's going on and if it's meant for me to be in my understanding like you know i'll be telling people i gotta dumb it down.com for me you know make that mess plain and simple <laughs> you know leave, leave it straight out we ain't got long gated with all these articulating words you know to exercise ourselves you know to try to sound like we studious or whatever I just want you to say what you got to say and you can just be smart or you can be just dumb smart whatever you know and be that way and but this is what you're doing you're allowing yourself to you know you that that when you don't flip that over you just don't know how close you are to what God has for you or what you don't even know how close you are from something unimaginable put it that way because it could a lot of times when you when you going through stuff that's me that means God has got something more for you than you even know plan that's why that road get hard like that you know they always tell you you know you being set an example this is gonna be where they're gonna say your enemy's gonna be your footstool and I never really understood that I'm like that I'm gonna be really stomping mud holes and somebody I'm like yeah because they needed that. I'm like, yeah, you're going to let me stop them all. No, this ain't what we're doing. We're going to use them for exactly for you to be able to climb up. Because we, we, we can't, we got to bring some kind of resistance towards your way. Some kind of challenge towards your way for you to really understand. You got to work harder for the for harder than anything that you ever worked for before. Because that me, when stuff got really hard, or I just felt like, oh, it's not for me, so let me just go ahead and stop. And my mom used to get on to me about that because she said, you don't know how many blessings you done surpassed just because things got hard for you. You need to stop doing that. My mom always reminds me of that. 
And this is that one situation where my soul refused to give up because it's like, no, this is one thing you are not going to walk away from. If you need a break, you get a break. If you need to go ahead and get you a replenishment, you do that. But you're going to get right back up. I don't care how mad you are. Scratch your butt and get glad. You don't like getting. I don't like being pissed off. It better be pissed off and pissed off. You know you had to be able to hear that too. Excuse my French for people that are a little sensitive out there. But you're going through a lot of things that you ain't had to go through before. You had to work harder for anything. I say I work hard, but I ain't work this hard because this is something that's gonna be living legacies. We gotta make sure when we finally open that door, you gonna have gratitude. And magnitude of ways you ain't never had gratitude for. You're going to be grateful that you stumbled and hit your toe on something. And you already know when you hit your toe, you're ready to fight anything. Knowing that's going to hurt you worse just because you're trying to hit a hit a table. Like that's going to make that, <laughs> that table just be regretted. That it stood out that way for your toe to stub. You're going to you're gonna hurt yourself. You know, but you look back on different things. You have to work harder than the people are that's trying to stop you from getting it. And that, I mean, you know, and that touched the death of my soul because there's too many people out there trying to force themselves to feel like when we work in numbers, strength in numbers, you can't overtower God. You can be a million people to stop him trying to be <laughs> against me. As long as God got me, I don't care about the million people that are trying to stop me because you can't stop what God got going on for me. You can't. You know, I can do that, but you can't do that. You know, and there'll be so many different things that you're going through in life and you're going to appreciate how many times the, the, those there was speed blocks, speed bumps, doors that people were trying to block forward? That devil standing right in front of that because he want to make you make you think that God ain't got God lying to you. He don't make you think that the enemy was right. You know, making you think, oh, all these people there, you know, they they can over they can really stop you. They can do all these different things. I don't sit up here and see how low blows people can really be about my situation. How far people are really ready to go. But I had, I had to allow that to not stop me. I had too many people, whether or not my, my people was passed over, or I had some here that supported me. I still had some kind of leverage towards different things that I didn't think I had. But the biggest thing that I had, the key component was me. And that's what you have within yourself. This is at that time when you know you're sure about yourself. And it's not being arrogant. That's not being passive aggressive. That's not what that is. When you know you're sure of yourself. And you know how you've been down in the trenches. And you know a lot of us has been down low blow. Like you went rock bottom. You done seen how things has really pulled you down. You get back up. Something, something else done knocked you right back down. Or there are different people that try to go out their way to distract you from every kind of way possible because they've seen that potential in you. They've seen that light in you. And they wanted to make you doubt every, every part of your existence to yourself that you don't have what it takes to make it. Okay? You don't have what it takes to make it. And it, it, it's just like with your situations, there'll be a lot of times where you, you have been stuck in a situation or you've been programmed towards a different thing. That when you are in a situation where yours is built up, and I mean it can be very deep, it can be very dark, where nothing good can come out of that. But if God say you can make it through it, you can make it through it. Because it's just a lot of times, you, you know, we're in that vibration like, I don't know how much more of this I can take. If I got to take another day of this mess, I'm not going to make it. It's already, you already programming to give up on yourself even before that day get here. You already placing that on your person. You have to be at that type of situation like, God, just see me through it. I don't know what I'm going to have to go through the next hour or the next day, but please see me through it. And he going to do that. Even though we may be mad at him, he going to give us, you know, you may be needing this, this, and this, and this, and that. Or you may be wanting. Because a lot of times where our wants, we could get that confused with our needs, you know, on the different things that are taking place into our life where we need this we need a person to cry on we need we need friends we need people to support us in this and this and that and it's just like god gonna give that along the way but a lot of times we got to be able to do that within ourselves we got to be our own cheerleader we have to be our own support group we have to be our own leader being able to be able to say you got this you got to give yourself depth sometimes you know a lot of times even if it's the most littlest thing you're like 
God, I'm hungry. And God just give you one little pee. And like, what the heck is this going to do? And you know, it's like, shoot, even they say a mustard seed can give you faith. But God, dog, you know, you have to be able to eat that and, you know, chew it like you're chewing on a steak or, you know, chewing on some salad and say thank you. You know, your stomach growling or whatever. You have to be able to do that because God right now send you so many tests right now. And he know the things that you really need. And he want to see how far are you willing to go. Even when I'm, I'm, I'm placing some kind of resistance on you. I'm adding you into a challenge. To be able to see are you going to go over it. Or are you going to allow that one little thing to stop you from your whole day. Like you done exit out your whole day where you could have got so much stuff done. But you mad because one or two things didn't go your way. Or things that didn't expect your way. Or you going to allow that to put you in a funk. You know you can be in a funk and be like okay. Can I change it? No. Am I going to allow this to stop me? No. And then God's going to be able to understand. Now you're starting to learn. Now you're starting to understand what I was saying. I want you to believe in the stuff that me and your ancestors and your great ancestors and the ancestors before that believed in you. That's the reason why we placed you in this situation. This is why we give you so many hard times. Because we want you to be able to see the things that you can achieve even before you achieve them. And these are the things that they're trying to get you to do. And that's not easy to do. And when we're doing that, we're going to bring so many different naysayers in your life. We're going to have people that can be very hardcore and gutter just by being able to talk so much stuff to you. Even when they see you stressed out, they're trying to add more stress to you because they're trying to break you. But they don't know that breakage is going to end up making you in a whole different way because they're breaking all that illusion and that BS that they're trying to place on you. That's the lie that you feel about yourself. So you want me to feel about that by me too? Now I'm going to leave that on you. But the way I'm going to overdo what you don't place on me, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to speak in a love language. You want me to speak a negative language. That's what you used to. When you speak love over somebody's life that's all in pure chaos, they don't know how to function in that. You have to be able to say, oh, you know, I love you. I'm placing love on you. Even though you're ready to smack them to the next century, I'm placing love on you. Even though I want to do something else to you, I'm placing love on you. Because you don't know you want me to be able to talk in your language. And I don't talk through that no more. I don't, I don't, I don't talk fluent and fakery. I don't talk fluent in fear anymore. I'm talking fluent in love, compassion. Devil don't like that. You be ready to give his ass flowers and he get upset. You know, hey, take a look. <laughs> you know, he be getting mad at you. Well, okay, I'll keep my flowers for myself, but you stay your little far and soft self over there. You know, and you being in that language, this is what making you. You, this is what making you your own ish. You, you the own, you your own trendsetter to a trend you starting within yourself. That many people are being encouraged to be inspired to do that within themselves. And that's why so many people are comfortable with being. So many people are comfortable with being the same. So many people are comfortable with playing small. So many people are comfortable in trying to block other people's blessings instead of creating their own. Staying focused on themselves so they want to stay focused on you. you do, you're doing that within yourself. You stay focused this way. We don't have time to be able to say, oh, this person trying to do this today. So, you know, let me not say that. No. I used to do that. I used to do that. Like, oh, there'll be so, oh, let me not say that. You know, now it's just like, you already know common sense going to tell you what not to say. Especially if you're in a situation like I am, when you're on a platform that you talk, there's many enemies that's trying to figure out and take notes on what can I do to block Rosalind today. Oh, we're going to try to shadow ban her. Okay. We're going to try to tell people not to listen to her because she'll, she flies your rent. And you know, they ain't no, they ain't no, they, she flies your rent. you like, that's flies No, they said fraud your rent. You know, look, we're going to have some uh, fortune tellers to go ahead and give them the wrong idea about her to make her think she's fake. She fraudery. You know, all that. I'm like, okay. The real deal, Holyfield, they're going to know. They can be fluent between that. Nah, that girl real. Oh, she she don't like her. Oh, why? Oh, she intimidates you. Oh, you fear what she she about to say about you. Oh, even you know even though she ain't talking about you, you know that right? Oh, okay, that's just a guilty conscience. Oh, okay, you know be on be on some stuff like that. I don't have time to be doing that. You know, I'm gonna speak on what I speak on, and I'm gonna say what I say because that's what happened. You know, I don't have time to be trying to crap on nobody else. I'm going to put out that truth shoot. Yeah, I'm going to pull out that. Like, hey, here's a, a truth peppermint. You want one? <laughs> you know, you want a truth peppermint. You want one? You know, and be able to be on that. 
You know, because it's just that, that time where God's going to allow you. Don't be apologetic about speaking your truth. So many people are trying to create a nar narrative about you because they're scared of that potential that you got in store that they don't want you to discover. Your, even your fears are whispering to you to not allow yourself to listen to what I'm saying. Because when it comes out right here, it's going to be rejected from here. And it's going to show you what that truth is. And then it's just like you're going to have a shield up where I, okay. That's how I used to feel about myself. Or, okay, I don't, I'm not communicating through that hurt or pain of what somebody did to me. What you hurt me in is going to help me in the end. What made me fear going to make me fear less. What made me feel bad is going to make me bold. You know, these are the different things you had to go through to be able to see yourself through the court. That's where you flipping that, that daggone table over with because you're going to start seeing that everything that somebody placed against you was that ammunition you needed to know to know you from the core. If you didn't go through these things about yourself, would you rather even know what was worth fighting for? You are worth fighting for. Nobody else going to fight for you like you fight for you. Nobody's going to support you like you support you. Nobody's going to love you. Well, that's different because there's some people that love you sometimes more than you love yourself. And that's where the real love, that when you do that, it's like with, even with my dad being in spirit, he don't show me how to love myself so much. Show me so much. Don't, don't be like this. Don't be like that. I did this towards other people. I was like this towards myself. I want you to be better. That's the best dad I could have ever had. Even when there was so, so many people who fought hard for me not to be around him, not to be like him. You know, and I told him, you, we all go through stuff. We all at fault for something. But you don't have to paint that on yourself. You know, when you allow yourself to say, I've been through this. But you're not using that excuse to go out there and purposely hurt people. Personally have a funky attitude or feel like, oh, you victim. When you the culprit, you know. People want to use that as a, use that as a default for being an a-hole. You know, being like, no, I, I could be that way. But I'm trying to fix that. You know, I used to be in that victim mentality, but I'm trying to fix that. And I mean really trying to fix that. You know, I hurt your feelings. That's not what I was trying to do. Or, you know what, I was really being ishy towards you. And I apologize for that. That You know, I was in my vibe. It, you know, I'm projecting on something that didn't even have nothing to do with you. And I apologize for that. This is what you're doing. Because there's so many people out there that feel like, okay, you know, you know what you're dealing with. You know, especially when people know that you're right, but they want to convince you you're wrong. And you you, you can't be at fault with somebody. It's like, don't even argue with folks like that. You know, they will they will sit up here and bleed on you when you ain't the one who's even cut them. You can't even argue with people like that. Because some folks, they be are trying to argue with you. And you already know the straight truth. And they still going to argue about, you know, they be trying to tell you it's Monday. And you know good and well, your phone say it, the TV say it, the news say it. And they still going to argue with you and say it's Monday. Allow them to be that way. Maybe in their dimension, it, it, it may be two days before or two days after or five days after. Whatever. And it's going to be like that. Like, okay, they, they stuck in their own confusion. I'm going to allow that just to go. And you're allowing yourself to really get there. You are flipping the script. Okay, you the plot twisted. You weren't even expecting. You know, one of them movies. Just like, matter of fact, the book of Eli. You know, and I watched that movie and come to find out that fool was blind the whole time. I'm like, why are you? In? Wait a minute. How are you able? Oh, my God, dog. Denzel, you know you need to have more Oscars than they gave you that month. Oh, my God. You know, you know, then training day because he should have been had more than that. I don't even care what anybody say. He should have been having more Oscars than he did on training day when you actually act like something corrupts. They give you something like that when you don't play hell of five good ass people. You know, excuse my French, but you know what I'm saying? But it's like you're going through different things in your life where you really seen the truth for what it is. And when you get into that vibe, that surge of power, you don't know how that can just execute anything that was sent in to execute you. You're being the executioner like, oh, no, that's your vibe. That ain't my vibe. Oh, no. That was when I was stuck in that confusion of intuitions. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, this is me when I'm regretting and, 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 and resentment and Doubting and second guessing myself. No, I'm about to pull the plug on that too. I'm all in my my truth suit. And it fits mighty well on me. It's not too snug. It's not too tight. I can bend down to it. I ain't got to worry about it splitting. You know, it's very, very comfortable within myself. I'm comfortable in my truth suit. You should try it sometime. No, not mine, but yours. You know, and be on those type of things. So you're you're in your vibe right now. 
it may is taking you all through some changes it really is it's taking you all through some changes like i said i'll put on what was i was watching the voice from almost every part of the country and i was putting on the most emotional stuff because i felt like there was a part of myself that i was really needed to connecting with really deeply had to connect with myself and let all that out i didn't want to watch nothing depressing or whatever but just being able to feel how people were projecting through their talent through their singing you know where it, it told a story on something that was going on in their life and they're you know they're putting themselves in the most uncomfortable position to be able to project their talent towards somebody that really can really help somebody you know and when I felt that it, it allowed me to go through so many different things in my life where I was scared to connect to where I was scared to really see it for what it truly was being able to appreciate that that hailstorm that took place in my life for me to be able to plant that seed being able to see that I'm coming out of that I'm blossoming and when you're blossoming you're you know some of us are blossoming through concrete it depends on what you are going through you really you know you some of us is coming through the dirt where you didn't really have to go through a lot of hardship and I feel like that's a blessing beyond all blessings where you didn't have to go through some kind of hardship to really see the truth of you you had that support you didn't have to go through some kind of negative exposure you didn't have to have narcissistic complex or any personalities you had to deal with but you actually had support you had people that was there you know and, and it was just so many different beautiful things and you're blossoming and you can still grow you know I, it, it, I'll be asking people how do you do that you know because i be want to know how you did that you know you didn't have to go through something you know hardcore and really ooh dark like i did you know i always ask people how they go through that and it's not to be funny because i want to know because there's so many different people i know that had to go through some kind of painful situation and get out of that imbalance and find new balance and my me and my girl Jan janae i echo when she was like that new balance you're trying to get into a spotless mind you know you on that new level of uh, frequency, you know, she had us on frequency and ascension. And well, I'll tell you, that's my sister from another mister right there. She don't got me through a lot of stuff. But you're going through those different things into your life where you had to really dig deep. And I mean, you had to get gutter with yourself. Like, you, you, this ain't that time to be pacifying yourself. This ain't that time to find more excuses than you do your truth. This is the time to stop backpedaling. You need to go full force. And you're going to have to allow yourself to go through the anger or go through the different emotions. And it's okay. Let yourself feel it. If you're feeling confused right now, saying, God, I'm confused right now. But I'm trying to be able to see everything from a, a sound mind. I'm trying to be able to see everything from clarity. You know, it's chaotic right here right now. And I'm really trying to find my peace. But a lot of times you can't unskip. You can't unskip that. You know, that uncomfortability. Uncom you don't have to allow yourself to really go through that so you can be able to move forward. Because a lot of times we, we try to, we want to be a part of that light, but we don't want to attach to our darkness. Now, realizing that darkness is going to lead us towards the light. They know we were light the whole time. But people make you feel like it's hard to deal with that negative part of me because that's going to end up making me more negative. No, it's not. It's telling you you have to become balanced. You have to love that bad part of yourself to be able to understand you can turn that bad into some good or all the way good. That's what I meant to say, all the way good. There's a lot of times you have to go through that bad to get through the good. You know, this is how you learn about yourself in every way possible. A lot of times you have to be, you, you have to be secure in your own heart. You know, secure in your own heart. You know, there'll be different things that's going on in your life. You know what you need fixing on. A lot of times, there'll be so many different things. It was like I lost a lot of friends. You know, a lot of people in my life, but they weren't meant to stay there. But it was that lesson that they came in. And I, I appreciate everybody that came out of my life and uh, left me or, you know, um, placed some kind of excuse on their life because it was one way or another. They didn't want to, you know, rectify with themselves, and that's fine. I appreciate everybody that came into my life, whether or not it's happy, bad, glad, or sad. I appreciate everybody because they done gave me some kind of lessons I need to learn by myself. I was stuck on the things that I went through in my toxic relationship that I can benefit on. I learned how to love myself. I'm knowing my self-worth. I know what I deserve. I know what I need to stop catering to. Not to be caring about what's being told about me out here. Not thinking about my abusive, you know, biological family. Uh, abusive, you know, uh, 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 adoption family. Abusive within the old self. You know, not playing pity party with myself, but being being with myself like, you know what, you don't went through some stuff. 
You know, did you know went through some stuff and this some hardcore stuff that you never thought you'd be able to go through? Cause it's like when that truth hit me, and I, it was just like when that truth really hit me because it was always and I always had that fear. And no families of mine. Well, no, they weren't family. There was examples. There were exes. The examples I'll never do again. But I appreciate those things. Where well, they made me live out my worst fear. And they were like, "What's your worst fear?" Because they wanted to know that and make sure I lived through that. Being able to know that I knew there was one part of myself and my family that was always there, and just to be able to know that either I passed away or they passed away, and not knowing that was a part of me, and they made sure I lived through that. You know, darkness part of it, the deepest thing. They made sure when my daddy died, they were laughing. <laughs> How's the family? They pulled that little thing with his his dad, what was his name, Clark, Clark, uh, uh, Clarence Thomas or Clarence Williams. I forgot that man got rest his soul when he committed suicide or tried to commit suicide. And Morris Day said, How's the family? They made sure they did that to me and they laughed at me. You know, they made me remember that. They, you know, that constantly went through my head and they made sure I lived out of that. And then it's not knowing that pain that they placed on me so bad through these situations I had to go through. That was a lot for me to go through. And the devil made me try to make me out myself many times for that. Having to see my daddy, you know, sprawled out on the floor, seeing him like that. That really messed with me. And I had to be able to live through that. And he was like, don't look at those pictures, baby. That don't, don't think about that stuff that they did. Know that I loved you. Know that I cared. There's so many music that I put out there that I was hoping you would listen to that you would strongly be able to hold on to. You know, it was just even a song I, I used to get so connected to. And I thought it was about my brother Amir um, when I heard the sonogram. It was like way back home. And it just so happened to somebody that, you know, that was connected with my dad way back in the day. And they were like, Rosalind, I never knew I was going to come across you. And I never knew that was relevant in my life. And now I know why I need to know that. And I used to always play that song. And it was just being able to know I never got a chance to be able to hold my baby brother or whatever. And, you know, and just knowing the things that... I didn't even go there, but it, it was just very brutal. I didn't want to know that about my brother, but I would still loved him regardless. But, you know, I thought that was about him, and I held that song tight, you know, and ever, anytime I felt my brother, I would always listen to that song. And it was just like, it was a song that, you know, you may have listened to or may be very drawn to. And it was like your dad had a sonogram of, of a little girl that he had, that he, you know, it was like his in the 80s, I was born in 1977, a couple of months uh, before he, you know, signed his contract. But um, it's like he was trying to put that sonogram in that song. And he, you know, and it's so many chills, all my hairs on the back of my neck came up. And it was like, you might know what song I'm talking about. And then all of a sudden, you know, it was my alarm on my phone. And it was just like, I, I, I you know, they were looking at my face and I was trying so hard to be able to not, you know, keep a straight face. And when I got off the phone with them, I, I bawled. And I bawled, and now that's my alarm, that's my ringtone, you know, and not knowing that was my sonogram. And he was like, I wanted to put that in a song. I wanted, you know, you to be able to hear it, knowing you were my first heartbeat, you know, and you made life make sense to it because it was so chaotic. And, you know, to find my way back home, my home, you know, home is where the heart is. And, you know, just, oh, try not to cry on that part, but, you know, it's just, just beautiful. And I see how many different things from this situation has really, uh, really, really, really has uplifted me in so many different ways. And, you know, how much tragedy came from triumphing, you know, just really conquering stuff. You know, chaos can take you towards conquering things. You know, overkill can take you towards overcoming something. You know, major setbacks can prepare you for the biggest glow-ups. And these are the things that they're preparing, though. And you have to be able, a lot of times you have to be able to go through these, the, the most hardest things into your life to be able to show you how really, truly powerful you are. But you have to want it more than anything, you know. And you you can't listen to the things that is being taught to you that you, you cannot make it. Your dreams are too big. You know, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't sit up here and take advice from people that don't even believe in their own dreams. They done gave up on that a long time ago. Or they may feel like your dreams is bigger than somebody else's dreams or whatever like this. And this is at a time nobody's dreams is bigger than anybody else's dreams. It's all about what you try to achieve within that. You can make your dreams a lot bigger. A lot of times God will give you this like little snippet. This is going to occur in your life. But I need you to go through this and this and that. And he never told you it was going to be easy. For this to be able to come up like that, a lot of times people can get blessed and don't really have to go through the trenches just to get to it. Yeah, that 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 can happen sometimes, you know, and sometimes we get all in our feelings like, 
God will be showing you different things that you want so so much, but it'll appear in other people. And that can get you in your feelings like, man, if you show me one more time, how somebody do that? You know, because it used to be a thing with me when I see so many families reuniting and it was just me being by myself because it was families on both sides that just didn't want nothing to do with me. Or there was family that was there to support me and they left me just because of what somebody else said because they wanted me to be by myself. They didn't want me having no certain kind of support because that would lean on me wanting to off myself. And that's what they were hoping. But God was like, no, we are here, you know. Being able it would be different pictures will come up on my on my screensaver on my phone or on my on my computer and I'll see my great grandmother Lucille or my great grandfather, my Papa Frank, or my Papa Baker, or you know, my Papa Papa, or I'll see my dad, or I see my aunt Edna May. And it's crazy because it's like when I see my daughters, it's like my oldest daughter looks just like my grandmother Maddie. Her sister and it's crazy because they were twins. Maddie and Aunt Edna May, you know, they were twins. And their, their birthday is 11-11. My first daughter, her birthday is January 11th. I mean, yeah, January 11th. Her sister's three years apart, January 9th. And they both look like, you know, my middle daughter looked like my Aunt Edna May. My baby, she looked just like my dad right around the time she had, you know, he had me. And that's, that's really hard to be able to look at. It's beautiful, but it's amazing to be able to look at. And it, it'll be just so many different things that I see how my life is really like, wow. You know, this is something that you can, you know, people are like Rosalind, when you find out the story, you can write this into a, 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 a novel or you can write an autobiography or you can even make this out of a Lifetime movie. I'll say, you know, <laughs> you know, all these different things and you just don't know how your life can be really, really, really like a stepping stone for somebody. It's like, dang. That person, you were that one where they placed you in a situation where nothing seemed possible for you. But when you know you're really dedicated towards yourself, and a lot of times you're ready to give up on yourself because everybody else is so quick to give up on you. This is at a time where you need to really give into yourself, really pour into that. Everything that people will stop pouring into you, this is that time to pour into yourself. You can't be everything for everybody else and be nothing for yourself. This is at that time where it's going to take some time. Where you got to pull back if you want to be successful. You got to come up missing sometimes. You know, you got to be able to, where they at? Where they at? Oh, they, they, whatever. I don't know what they're doing. But I hope, you know, you, you're going to be like, whatever they're doing, I hope they still do it. But then they'll be like, oh, my God, what are they doing? You know, because every time they come back, they'll be coming back leading the pack. You know, it'll be certain things like that. But this is at that time. you focusing on you. But there'll be different times where you know you're going to have to go renegade on your own self. I'm going to have to start connecting with things that really done shook me to the core. Really made me look at myself differently. Made me look at the world and people differently. But you have to get out of that tone. You have to get out of that vibe. This is that that person where you making this for you. If you got little children that's looking up for you, you doing it for them. You know, even though I don't, I don't even deal with my children no more. Even where I would love to, I want to be that type of person where they can look at me. Even though I, I felt this way about my mom. It made me see how she changed for the better. Even though I want to be that reflection and say, hey, you can even change. I still love you even though you can't stand me. And I'm okay with that. You know, as long as I know I tried, you know, that's all I can be able to be at peace with. I can't allow, and you know, even though that mess was something that was going to really kill me. I thought it was because my kids are everything to me. You know, and I had to be able to allow myself to give it to God. You know, and I'm not a religious person. I'm I'm very heavy on my spiritual. I had to be able to give it to a God because there was so many different things that try to stand in my way for me being able to come up on myself, be my own surprise. You know, and it's surprising me that I've came this far. And a lot of times when you're dealing with, you know, upheavals, so at times you really just feel like anytime you go that one step up, there's always something that's going to knock you back down. You're falling back down that hill. But a lot of times you got to keep doing that until you make it up that hill and just knowing there's a bigger mountain that, that's there. But this at that time, you're going you, you gonna to have that courage to keep building up that mountain. But whatever it is, it's going to slow you down. You know, you're going to have to let go of. You're going to allow yourself to, you know, that, that gave you weight. From the last time, but this is at that time. Every new boundary, every new thing that you are conquesting is going to take a whole new way to be able to look at it, a whole new way to go about it. And you have to be able to readjust yourself, you know, readjust your boundaries, readjust the different things you cater to, readjust the energies you are willing to welcome in. Because everything is going to require a new you to be able to connect to. So I hope you were able to resonate with that, y'all. Much love to you. Like I said, I don't, you know, I haven't. Uh, got into all my comments so but you know if anybody I have not be able to respond I have not responded to you I'm gonna get to you 
as soon as I'm I'm allowed to permit it to <laughs> put it that way. I don't want to say yay or nay. I'm gonna eventually get to that. So don't feel like you know I'm neglecting you or anything. You know I'm just I'm pouring in my own cup right now. And when God tell me to move forward, I just do well. I'm do what I'm told. I'm trying to be, you know, uh, listening. <laughs> you know I'm trying to do that. So you know much love to you and thank you so much for the love and support and you're sharing my videos. And there have been so many people that are starting to subscribe to me. I really appreciate that. Is really appreciated. So I'm hoping you're able to resonate with that we're all going through a lot of changes right now and it can be very uncomfortable but a lot of times we have to be able to put that in our mind we have to get comfortable being uncomfortable because we're opening doors that you know many people ever said they would never open for us you know and we're closing a lot of doors we never thought we would have the courage to be able to shut so you know keep moving keep strengthening yourself you know, sometimes you got to fall back. You know, even if you fall off, you get back on 10 times stronger than you did when you fell off. So, you know, keep pouring into yourself. I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about you connecting with me. You know, it may be going through something and you may want my insight on it. Or you're just trying to find a deeper understanding about that, you know. And, it, you know, universe is wanting me to be able to do that. And they're giving me that understanding trust and believe I will give you that and whatever we speak on is truly confidential you know I help out the best way I can I also leave in my community section please stop by there you know it's a whole bunch of different posts funny posts you know different things we may be going through right now and the different changes you may be going through I know right now we're going through a lot of ascension and kundalini you know experiences if you're aware of those things it messes with your heart it gives you a little bit of imbalance you know you're disconnecting to connect and you know straying away from different things a lot of things you were able to tolerate before is kind of intolerable now you may feel a little detached from your situation and that's quite okay because you know a lot of times you're, you may be closing you know uh, different things is going on in your life is no longer serving you you know and you're detaching away from diff different situations as well as people as well so um you know uh hold on y'all because I forgot my my, my videos about the mess up but anyways you're going through those different things so um so uh if you're needing advice or any kind of insight i try my best to be able to help out like i said whatever i uh what we discuss is confidential and i keep that to myself i also have my podcast on my community section as well as my different posts as well if you're interested in that or even if you're interested in doing um uh different uh you know, podcasting if you're interested in that, you know, hey, you know, go ahead and hit me up. You know, I you know, I do mine and I really love doing podcasts as well. And if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, the cash app is there as well. Whatever vibrations you're needing right now to be able to uh you know, um get towards whatever you're trying to man manifest into your life. I'm sending all that towards you ten million times fold. If it's consistency, believing in yourself, confident, having faith, having patience, I'm sending it all towards you because right now you're gonna need all that. Because I already know I'll be giving it to myself like girl, I need patience, I need <laughs> di redirections and directions. You know, I'll be feeling lost and you know, I'll be feeling like where's Waldo at times, even with my own self. You know, so I'm sending that towards you. You know, we're going through a lot of different things right now where you facing it and you know you're going through the pit of a epitome you know really trying to find yourself so um you know hey you go ahead and do it because you have to be able to believe in yourself more than anybody else do because you got that so don't sleep on yourself always stay woke stay persistent and consistent okay because the devil will try to convince you about yourself today just because he know those door many doors you close one door five more and and a couple of windows and some shades gonna be flying open for you just for all that abundance so you got to keep on going and even through social distancing please go ahead and make sure you give out love like positivity words by frequencies you never know those things to really take somebody a long way and just because you had no intentions and except good intentions is going to take you even further have a blessed prosperous week and please be safe and responsible for everything you do much love to you peace namaste shalom i say much love talk to you later